So how did you uh, find out you're coming here? What was the whole process? Uh, so I was in South Dakota. Actually, I was on a plane going to back to South Dakota, and my agent had called me and told me that uh, it was a possibility they were going to sign me. And uh, I was just really excited, you know, just getting an opportunity to get back on the NBA floor and help any way I can. You're coming at a time where they're probably going to be resting a lot of guys who yeah. have a chance to play. Like, what have they told you to get ready for playing? And how excited are you? To uh, I, I always stay ready to play, like, no matter what. But uh, I'm always excited for opportunity to step on the court, especially at, on a new team, just to show what I could do and, and just go out there and, again, help win. Really, that's it. Yeah. Uh, my experience in Toronto was pretty good. Uh, I'm really close to some of those guys. Uh, past guys like an older brother to me. Uh, learned a lot. Looking forward to playing against them. And uh, just want to have fun. Just get back out there. What's the adjustment been like to the NBA so far for you? Now, obviously, you've been a big double double guy in college. Just getting used to this level and the size of this yeah. uh, I, I would just say just, you know, like finding my niche, whether it be like learning how to get around bigger guys for rebounds or learn how to get my shot off faster, or develop my three-point shot, my, my playmaking and stuff like that. Just trying to become more of an all-around player rather than limit myself to one thing. The Raptors are kind of uh, legendary in their development. What makes the 905 special and what they do? I, I always say the family atmosphere. Like, they make you feel like you're at home, you know, and then they kind of just, like, mold you into uh, a player that they see fit that could play in the NBA really anywhere. So I'm extremely grateful for them and, and the time I spent there. From them, again, staying ready, like no matter what, like, you know, in the G League, you play a lot, you might not play a lot in the NBA, so just always being ready to go out there and make an impact on the game. And uh, just being overall, just being a good person, a good locker room dude, uh, just having that positive, positive attitude. And then did you know, did the Celtics show any interest in you up until this point? Like, have you had conversations with them? Like I, I came here for a pre-draft workout my rookie year. Uh, I spoke to Brad Stephens, he said he was monitoring me since I was in college, so that's always good to hear, you know, just knowing that I'm in people's thoughts and it was good to hear. What types of things have you been trying to focus on uh, as you try to stick in the NBA for the you know, long term? Uh, I would say just be becoming more of a, sh like, being able to knock down shots, obviously rebound, defend, like the little things, you know, like as a young player, you never really walk into the NBA as a go-to person. So like trying to figure out ways to impact games without having to be ball dominant or needing a play ran from me or anything on the switch. I would just say like rebounding uh, and, and knocking out an open shot. What about your time in Toronto taught you how to play with like better players and, and try to fit in instead of being a star? Uh, how, how did it teach me, you yeah. said? Oh, I would say like, I was playing with Pascal, Fred, OG, and, and Gary and those guys. Just really like knowing who you're playing with on the court and what their go-to is and like how to get out their way or, or set them up to get a bucket or, or make a play for the team. It's been like being in the league at the same time and really Oh man, it's a dream come true. I mean, growing up together, we always dreamed about playing together or even just playing in the NBA at the same time, man. It's been a blessing so far. He's, he's doing great over there in San Antonio. And I just continue to wish him success. Have you gone to play against him yet? I played against him when I was in Toronto, my first uh, G League game this year. We lost, sadly, but <laughs> I I'll eventually see him again and then I'll have my revenge on him. What does it mean to you to have, to be brought in at this point, be back at this level? Uh, being back at this level is amazing. I mean, I spent three months in South Dakota, in the middle of nowhere. I'm grateful for it though, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for my time over there. But uh, just getting back here and just really trying to hone in and, and, and put the work in to, to make sure that I stick this out. What was the toughest part about South Dakota? Uh, there's absolutely nothing to do. <laughs> uh, I mean, at the same time, like it gives you an opportunity to just focus on just straight basketball. So that that was the, the blessing of, uh, in disguise. But I couldn't walk outside. I couldn't do nothing. And it was always snowing. Horrible weather. <laughs> Horrible weather. Did you like Mount Rushmore or anything like that? No, I stayed inside. It was, I was, it was too cold. It was always snowing, feet of snow. Uh, it smells funny over there. I don't, <laughs> not really my swag. I, like, like, uh, like uh, I don't even know how to say it. Like, uh, like a farm. Like a bunch of animals around. It's disgusting if you ask me. It smells horrible. <laughs> I'm from New York, so it's a little bit different. Huh? That's how you know it's gonna snow. That's how the you know? Smell comes down. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I just stay inside. That's what I try to do. <laughs> but I'm from New York, so it's a little bit different, but you know, I adapted and, and made, made the best of it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks, man. Yes, yes. Thank you guys.